Hi there. My name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today. In this practice, we will move into a few, hopefully very comfortable, supported poses, and we will rest deeply in each one. Uh, you could do this practice in a bed. You could do it on a soft rug, or you'll notice I've put a blanket on top of my yoga mat to create a little more soft surface. I have two bed pillows. In fact, I have two bed pillows that are thin inside one pillowcase to provide a slightly firmer pillow, but whatever you have. And I've got a couple of fleece blankets folded up here. Again, use what you have, more or less, and hopefully we can all find comfort and ease and relaxation together today. So we'll begin in um, a simple relaxation pose. So for most, most of us, it will be lying on our back. Um, depending on the tightness in your low back, it is often, even if your low back isn't tight, quite lovely to have um, pillows under your knees. And for most of us, we'll require at least one pillow or blanket or two under our head. So I'm gonna save the pillows for my knees, the blankets for my head, maybe that second blanket over my body. So you are gonna wiggle yourself close to those pillows and lean into the hands to bring the legs over the pillows and then lower yourself down. And here we are. And so make any adjustments you need to here. If the pillows are too high, if you wanna feel your feet on the mat, you're welcome to adjust. You can take the legs a little wider or closer. Same with the arms. Some of us naturally want them away from the body. Maybe the palms up, maybe the palms down or in. Or maybe we want the hands resting somewhere on our body. You might close your eyes now. And that allows us to tune in. We might notice that we aren't comfortable and that more is needed. You are welcome to change position at any time, remembering that your comfort is the most important ingredient in this practice. And so as you slowly get more and more comfortable, Begin to breathe through your nose if you can. And begin to notice the in-breath expanding through your abdomen and waist and low back. And simply notice your out-breath without any effort to make it happen. And we simply let go. The inhale feels like a bit of an invitation. We soften our belly to receive the in-breath, soft and deep. And we simply let the exhale go. And the inhale happens all on its own. Letting the exhale go. And we'll continue to pay attention to our breath here as the breath is our kind of simplest way to nourish the nervous system. We're inviting the inhale to land soft and deep. And by simply letting go of the exhale, we are letting it lengthen. Soft. Deep in breath, softer, slower out breath.
to notice how your mind might begin to wander. And see if you can gently bring it back to the experience of the breath. You can invite the in-breath soft and deep. Let go of the exhale, soft and slow. Can we simply pay attention to the next five or six breaths? Soft and deep inhale. Softer, slower exhale. As we complete those breaths, I invite you to bring a hand to your belly and a hand to your chest, feeling the weight and the warmth of your own giving hands. And now offer yourself something sweet, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. Releasing your hands, oh, maybe yawn, maybe stretch, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Maybe wrap your arms around yourself, a little hug. I like to invite a little bit of movement between the poses to prepare the body, but you're always welcome to skip those movements or even do a little more of them. I'm going to invite you to bend your knees, bringing your feet to your pillows, and then maybe drawing those knees towards the belly with your hands. And you could rock a bit from side to side. Yeah. And maybe as the knees come back to center, you could gently reach them away from each other and towards each other. Guiding with your hands. We're looking for that place of openness before stretch. So we don't need to stretch the body here. We can simply move with ease. Stretching is fine, but in this practice, stretching is still considered a bit of a stressor and we're really working on that relaxation response in the body so let's stay in that place before stretch that openness before stretch so one more time knees apart and I know it doesn't doesn't take very far to get into a bit of stretch here 
knees together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we need to get these pillows out of the way. So you can kind of guide them with your feet or you can reach up and grab them. I'm gonna move them off to the side. And now notice, we're gonna take our feet nice and wide, knees are bent, so the feet are probably at the edges of your mat. And now both knees can fall to one side and the other. And again, this is one of those ones where you probably need a little stretch at one end. So you don't need to go all the way. So notice this shape, notice maybe where, where you start to feel stretch, where you need to stop and turn back. Because this is going to help us set up for our next pose. Yeah. Once more in either direction. So what you'll notice is as my knees fall to one side, I kind of know where it gets a bit stretchy, so it's right about here. But in a restorative pose, I want to feel supported in that place of openness before stretch. So I'm going to take one pillow or one blanket, place it under my outer hip, and then notice how my back leg is also hovering. I could, and I might need to sit up for this, bring another pillow to rest. So I'm still in that position, but now my legs are supported, yeah. So you could have that second pillow under that knee. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, what might feel nice in terms of the arms getting a little bit of openness is you could bring a pillow right overhead and reach and rest the arms on the pillow. So if you'd like to do that, you're welcome to. And here we are in our first pose. You'll notice again my knees were both upright, feet wide. I let them fall to the side, fully supported. Again, you might close your eyes and notice, oh, I need to make some changes. I need more comfort here. Please feel free. You can adjust where your feet are. And if you need more stretch, not stretch, but more openness, you could always take that blanket a little further, push the pillow a little further. So this is where you can press pause, make adjustments, gather what you need. We want to feel as if the ground is meeting us where we're at. And so now you might close your eyes and again, adjust if you still need to seek more comfort or become still, start to settle in. We're keeping our practice very simple today as we keep coming back to the relaxation breath. Soft belly, receiving the in-breath. And letting go of the out-breath. The in-breath, soft and deep. The out breath, soft and slow. As we rest here for a couple more minutes, thought you might like to add a count to the breath to help focus your mind. For example, if the in-breath was a count of two, the out-breath could be a count of three. Just stay with it.
your mind wanders, that's okay. Come back to that slow count of the breath. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one, two, three. simply count five or six more breaths in this way. As you complete those breaths, you can give your fingers and toes a little wiggle, perhaps yawn. Very gently, we can guide those knees back to center and maybe simply rest the knees against each other and reach those arms around yourself. Give yourself a little hug. And we can switch arms. Now, you might have different needs on the other side. So again, you can adjust your props accordingly. We're gonna bring the feet wide again. We're gonna rock the knees to the other side. So you might need the same, more or less. Again, you can sit up to adjust these props. Yeah, so keep playing around with it. And again, you might reach the arms Overhead, you might try reaching them out to the sides this time or in kind of a bent elbow position. Again, finding that sweet spot of openness before stretch. And closing your eyes and continuing to make any adjustments for your comfort. As you once more Tune into the breath. Soft and deep inhale. A soft or slower exhale. Inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two, three. 
If your mind wanders, that's okay. That's what minds do. Let's come back to that anchor, the breath. Add that count to focus the mind. Inhaling one, two. Exhaling one, two, three. Let's count five or six more breaths. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. As you complete those breaths, maybe give your fingers and toes a little wiggle. Yeah, you could slowly guide those knees back to center and then rest them against each other, adjusting those pillows as you need to. And give yourself a hug. When you feel ready, you could slowly roll over to one side and make your way upright. Uh, so again, I'm going to invite a little bit of movement before this next pose. And then we'll set it up. So you can always skip ahead if you prefer or do a little more movement. So you'll notice I'm on hands and knees. You could be on fists, you could be on forearms, even forearms on a couple stacked pillows. We're going to rock the hips from side to side a few times. And then begin to circle those hips back and around, and then forward and around. Now, I know this gets pretty stretchy too as you lean hip to hip, so only going as far as you get just that little sense of movement before stretch. I'll circle once more in this direction. And then change direction. I know this can be hard on the hand, so adjust that hand position if you need to. We don't want to move into pain any more than we want to move into stretch. We want to stay in that place that really nourishes us in comfort and ease. So we'll circle one more time in this direction. And then finding our way back. And the same with the knees here. If the knees are tender, we could put a second blanket under the knees. 
I'm going to do one more bit of movement for those who do yoga um, regularly. This is cat-cow. We're going to find that nice long spine and then tuck the tailbone under and begin to slowly round. And turn that tailbone up and begin to slowly arch. And a few more times in either direction. And then we can find that middle path, that middle place, and take a moment here to shake out the hands. I'm kneeling with my hips off of my heels, and this might be a good place to set up the next pose. So, this could be one of two versions of this pose. Maybe there's even more versions. Um, I'm stacking my pillows lengthwise with the mat. And I'm stacking my blankets um, where there's a little bit of space between blanket and pillow, a little valley here. So the first variation would be widening the knees, dropping the hips back over the heels, and then deciding do I want to keep my head on the pillow, maybe turn my head to one side, and then at the halfway point I'll invite you to bring your head the other side or do I want to kind of get on the pillows a little bit bring the chest kind of over the end and then that little valley that space could be for the face as you rest your forehead on these rolled blankets you might need a second roll yeah the forearms could come out to the side and especially if you don't um, want any pressure on your breast tissue sometimes getting those pillows under you and getting your chest right off the end of those pillows can be a lovely respite here. And then adjusting what height. So if you find yourself here and you think, oh, this is my happy place, I feel comfortable, you can stay right there. If you're curious about the other variation, do peek at me. So the other variation is for those of us who don't want to feel such a deep knee bend, but still want to benefit from this prone lying position. So in that case, we still have the pillows stacked, we still have that space, we still have the um, blankets stacked, but I'm gonna bring my knees behind the pillows and slowly lower belly and chest onto them. So look, no deep knee bend here. Um, I can again bring those blankets under my forehead. I might need more support or less. And just like before, I could bring the chest right off the end of those pillows and really let the chest um, feel no compression at all so the breasts can hang freely and that can be quite delightful all on its own the arms out to the sides and just adjusting that forehead height so you do feel you know that you're not arching the neck that you can rest the forehead comfortably and I know for the tops of the feet here for some of us having those um, toes pointed in that way are uncomfortable so if you rolled up a little blanket or put a pillow underneath the front of your shins. For those of us who have a sweet spot there, um, give that a try because that's gonna be comfortable for longer. Okay, so here we are. We've made our way into whatever variation serves you best. We're face down. We've built the ground up to meet us. You can begin to close your eyes and notice if you are comfortable. Continue to make any adjustments for your comfort. Once more, we are going to tune into the breath, but you may have noticed your belly is quite compressed in this pose. And so you're going to invite 
the waist and the lower ribs and low back to expand. Even those side ribs, feel all of that expansion with the in-breath. And you'll notice how easy the out-breath is. That the in-breath might feel like there's a little bit of effort there, but the more we can soften into the side ribs, the waist, the back, the less effort we'll feel in that inhale. And we'll notice how effortless an exhale can be. As you begin to really sink and settle into this pose, let's return to that slow count of the breath. If the inhale is a count of two, the exhale is a count of three. And if you enjoy a bit of a visualization to help you here, I kind of imagine with the inhale that I'm sort of floating up. But with the exhale, I'm sinking down. That could be floating in the air up. And then sinking back down to earth. Could be floating up in water and sinking back down to the bottom of the tank. You could play with this imagery, the sense of breathing into your back, to your waist and sides as a sense of lift. And then with the exhale, just that sinking in, softening, surrendering. So stay with it. If any of that imagery works, or if you want to stay with that count of the breath, but stay with it. And if your mind wanders, that's okay. Come back to the breath. And if you have turned your head over to one side in that child pose variation, very slowly lift your head and turn it in the other direction as we rest here for a couple more minutes. You might have that feeling of floating upward on the inhale and sinking downward with each slow exhale. You might be inhaling to a count of two, 
And exhaling to a count of three. Let's pay attention to the next five or six breaths here. As you complete those breaths, maybe wiggle your fingers or toes, maybe yawn. And you could slowly walk your hands under your shoulders, push the floor away. We could come back to that little bit of movement that we did before our pose, we could rock our hips a bit, could circle those hips. And a couple times in either direction. And there could be some cat cow, some gentle rounding and arching. feel ready, I'm going to show you one more alternative variation for our final relaxation pose, which will be completely supported like that first pose, um, with a slightly different um, upper body option. So the option here is to maybe use your blankets as a little alternative support here. So I've got kind of one that I'm going to place under the pillow. And then I'm going to take the other pillow lengthwise, making a bit of a T, and it's also propped up on a pillow. And then I can come and sit right at the edge of that pillow. And now, to keep the low back nice and happy, um, we can return, well, we could place two or three blankets under, or pillows under our knees if we have them. But if we don't have them, a nice way to release the low back is to take your feet wide again. And we could rest into our hands for a moment, actually, and just rock the knees from side to side just like we did from reclined before. And then, with the knees nice and wide, we could turn the toes in and rest the knees against each other, and then begin to lower ourselves down onto this support. So, 
Already I know I need a little bit more under my head. So I'm gonna bring this pillow like so. And then lower back. And then if I still need more support, bring that second pillow, second blanket right at the end of my pillow. Great, and then, then I can create just a little bit more, great. So my feet are wide, my knees are resting, and this gives an opportunity for just a little bit of openness through the chest and through the um, shoulders and through the neck. So again, we need to find that sweet spot. If my head is too far back, it's gonna feel uncomfortable, but there's just this little sense of lift to the heart. Yeah, so you have to play with that a little bit. And we're going to again see that our feet feel comfortable, that our knees and legs feel quiet, so the low back feels quiet. And again, we need to play with that idea of openness before stretch. So if this arm position feels too open in the chest, a few options. We could rest the hands to the belly, sometimes even placing hands in your waistband to kind of keep them there. Some people even like that sense of tucking their hands behind their back. So you've got some options here. And keep kind of adjusting for your comfort as we close our eyes. And as we begin to breathe through our nose. And continue to adjust as we feel balanced from side to side. Completely supported. Now let's drop into that simple count of the breath. We inhale to a count of two. We exhale to a count of three. We've spent the whole practice focused on the breath. And sometimes that's what we do. Sometimes that's the easiest tool in the toolkit to use. So we are going to continue to focus on the breath. And the only difference is now, and you can keep the count going if that's helpful. I want you to start noticing the turnaround. So notice when your inhale turns into your exhale. And notice when your exhale turns into your inhale without you doing it, without being the doer, simply watching and feeling. Don't miss the moment where the breath turns. It's like a wave rolling in and then rolling out again. That moment when you watch the water change direction. It rolls up the beach and then it rolls back out to sea. And you feel that within your own body within your own breath. Rolling in deep. Rolling out slow.
and your mind will wander. That's okay. That's what minds do. But let's come back to the breath as this anchor for your mind. And let's feel the in-breath roll in like a wave rolling up the beach. And then notice that moment as the wave starts to roll back out. And then again, if that imagery works for you, stay with the imagery as you feel the inhale. Imagine that wave rolling up on shore. Exhale, and the wave is pulled back out. So if it helps to keep counting the breath, then simply notice the change of direction. That's how you notice to start counting again. But let's stay here, anchored by the breath, fully supported, soft, deep in-breath, and softer, slower out-breath. Your mind might wander, that's okay, come back. Come back to the breath. And let's simply pay attention for the next five or six breaths. Please know that you can stay right where you are for as long as you choose. If you are ready to move, there may be a wiggle to the fingers or toes, a slow turn of your head, even give yourself a hug. A yawn. I invite you to bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest if that suits you. And let's return to that sweetness we offered ourselves at the beginning of practice, that kind word, prayer, affirmation.
And this is where I will leave you. Please feel free to stay where you are as long as you want, to move slowly, to be gentle with yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.